Hi, David here. Um, I wanted to do a quick video to show how I'm going to thermoform my panels for BB-8. Um, I'm actually in my studio right now and it's kind of big and loud so there's the audio quality is probably pretty bad. I apologize for that. But anyway, I wanted to, let me just set this down. I wanted to uh, make a quick video. Um, I basically am gonna be using James uh, Bruton's method for building a heat box. And uh, I thought that his worked the best, it was cheapest. Um, if you wanna see his original video, it's on xrobots.co.uk. He has a lot of great videos and a lot of great resources. But anyway, um, in his video, he basically builds a heat box out of MDF, lines it with aluminum foil, and places over a heater to create the heat source that then heats up the panel so that you can vacuum form or thermal form. Um, I like that method, but instead of getting MDF and having to use a saw to cut all the pieces and everything, they actually sell this insulation board at pretty much any hardware store. This is a four by eight piece. It costs about eight to 10 bucks, depending on the hardware store. Um, it's basically a three quarter inch thick piece of foam that is sandwiched in between two reflective uh, thermal panels. And you can cut this very easily with a utility knife or an X-Acto blade. I like it because it's very light and you can basically use uh, AC conduit tape to tape it together. So what I did was I picked up one of these, cut it into four two foot sections, and I basically made this. So here is my heat box. You can see I cut the pieces out. I have it tapered in uh, according to the heater I bought. But I basically used the uh, silver tape to put it all together. It was very easy, it's very light, and most of all, it's very cheap to build. So I guess next I'll show you how it all works, but here it is, so you can get a good look. Okay, so here's my setup. There is the heater inside my heat box. Um, here I have a 20 inch polycarbonate sphere. Uh, I inserted this piece of round cardboard tubing to just help support it when I push the thermoformed panel down. Um, and then here I have my frame. What I've done is I've just taken uh, some pieces of MDF uh, particle board, cut out a frame, and this is my 24 inch by 24 inch piece of Sintra. It's basically foam PVC. Um, now, I've made the frame six inches bigger and that's so that I can have an inch and a half of overlap all around when this goes inside and then the screws have an inch and a half room to kind of go in. Um, basically what I did was on the back side of this I used these nuts, I don't know if you can see that, these nuts that you can after you drill the hole, you put them in and you can hammer them in. They have little teeth and they grab on. They basically make it so that once it's in there, it's locked in and it doesn't turn. So now, on the other side, I have these bolts with washers and they go in each one and I can put them in and then basically with a screw, I can screw them in very quickly so I can take them off and put them back on very quickly um, and I'll show you the whole process next all right so here you can see the heat box heat box is uh, getting up to temperature I can feel it's already getting warm so I'm gonna just put this over here and I'll go ahead and make a panel all right Line those up, and now I can just 
tape up the heat box um, but basically I'm gonna let this heat up I can already see it's starting to dip uh, after about two minutes 45 seconds or three minutes it's gonna be nice and uh, bendy once I do that I'm gonna take it off grab it push it down on the ball and I'll hold it there for about another three minutes um, and that should be good What I plan to do is, after I mold all my panels, I'll cut out six circles and eight triangles, and then etch all the design elements into each panel so they'll actually be, you know, raised pieces. It'll look sort of like a 3D printed piece, not, not obviously as detailed or as good, but it's light, it's durable, and it works for the purposes of this. Um, so it's about a minute and 15 seconds. I don't know if you can see or not, but it's definitely starting to dip some. I'll go ahead and take this off. You can see it's starting to deform and get uh, nice and flexible. So that seems like it's going to be ready soon. Um, all right. All right, so we're at two minutes. It should be ready to go soon. Again, I apologize for the poor sound quality. Uh, there's a big echo in this big space. Um, so right now, it's really deforming. I'm going to give it another 15 seconds, and then I'm going to go. So what I'll do is I'll unplug the heater, bring it over, hold it, and that should be ready to go. All right? And I think we're just about there. So I'm going to unplug the heater, and here we go. Now we go up and down. You can see actually a piece popped out of the frame. I didn't have it tight enough. I really need to put a rubber lining in there so that there's more grip that holds the panel in place. Hopefully I can get away with that piece being knocked out. Again, I only need a roughly a 12 inch circle out of this. But I'm gonna just hold that until it dries. But you can see it's a very easy method, um, very cheap. I'm going to give it about another minute.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try and take it off. And there you go. There's my dome. From here I can cut a 12 inch piece out and it should be nice and flat.